Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. Jesus is coming soon. Hit that like button. We're going to talk about some of the worldly events that are going on that leads to the return of Christ that is happening right now. In 2 Timothy 4, 3, it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust they shall heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. We're seeing a lot of people believe in fables instead of believing the truth. Look, we have another major wildfire that is taking place in the Port Hills, Christ Church Hills, Port Hills, state of emergency declared in New Zealand. It's once again another massive wildfire that is starting. There is over 3,954 acres of land that are now consumed with fire. Uh, this incident comes seven years after a devastating fire that happened in February of 2017. Exactly seven years, guys, seven years, this date, they had a massive wildfire. So here they are. This is another massive wildfire seven years later in the same area. Uh, the YouTube link here uh, will we'll show you, but they are hazy skies. Look at the big, guys, the wildfires. Look, this is devastation of the land. We are living in the biblical end times, and it is time to take things serious. The strongest explosive eruption at the volcano in Japan since 2020. This is the strongest one they've had. The uh, black ash uh, cloud went 20,000 feet above sea level. This happened yesterday on the 14th. What a huge, huge eruption that is taking place over here. They're on an alert level three. I do believe the alert level goes to five, I do believe. But they have camera feed videos that show you of this massive eruption that has taken place and is continuing to take place. So let's talk about some of the massive earthquakes we've had. In the past 36 minutes, Russia had a 4.9. Japan had a 4.2 an hour ago. Indonesia, a 4.6 two hours ago. Six hours ago, Fiji Islands had one. Look, these are a lot of 4.0s and 5s. I, mean, I think it was about a day or two ago we had a 7 that hit. That's one of the biggest ones we've had in a while. But there is a lot of massive ones going on. Tonga is also that area where it was a very huge volcanic eruption. They've been having a lot of 5s lately. So could Tonga erupt at any point in time? Uh, time will tell. Uh, we're seeing continuously popping up in Israeli 365 news about the red heifers. The five small red cows that rock the world is what was brought up by this Bishop Jerry Bowers. Um, so we know that these red heifers were sent from Texas not very long ago, about, you know, about two years ago is when all these talks started, and that they're wanting to sacrifice one of these on Passover April. We've done many things pointing towards the uh, eclipse, the uh, the cicadas coming out, the devil's comet, many things. The Alaf and Tav, the beginning and the end, uh, where the X marks the spot on the map as we continue to see. So um, in September of 2022, five unblemished red heifers were delivered to Israel from Texas, donated by Christian Texas Rancher. So these red heifers were delivered. We also do know that the October 7th attack Hamas said that they had done this attack based on the red heifers. So knowing that this came up, saying that there is the reason why this attack happened, there's been talks of a third temple for a long time. Let's also remember your body is also a temple, and many people are defiling, the, defiling this temple all, at all points and times in their lives. By what we eat, by what we consume inside of our body, we are defiling our temples on a daily basis. So we need to be very careful what we do. We need to be praying to God to lead the direction that we need to go. So there is a lot of signs that are taking place, lots of signs that are taking place, and predominantly these are some of the worst. I'll be kicking. It, uh, yeah, let's just go with tails. Would you like to kick or receive the Bible? I will receive. Tom wins the toss, chooses to receive the Bible. Patterson back with the kick. Oh my goodness! Whoa. Is that a touchback? Can you even get a touchback? What a reprobate church. What a reprobate church. This church is pathetic.
I showed up in birds Ruined your black tie affair Last one to know Last one to show I was the last one you thought you'd see there And I saw the surprise And the fear in his eyes And I took this glass of champagne But I took Guys, this is a church in America, a so-called church. It's just, you have people that are literally laboring in the word, that are literally doing what the word says, and they're ignored, just like Ezekiel was, just like the prophet Amos was, just like the apostles were ignored. And you have these reprobates who do these things in the churches, they make this a show. Guys, the wildfires, the the meteorites and comets in the sky, the, the, the solar and lunar eclipses, the red moons that have been popping up, the, 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 the wildfires, the volcanoes, the earthquakes, the violence, the, the ethnicity against ethnicity, as Matthew 24 says, uh, you know, trying to sacrifice red cows, guys. Please take the word of God serious. And if you have someone that preaches the word in truth, take it serious. Guys, we do Bible study every Wednesday. We're in the book of Mark. Next week we'll be in Mark 11. There's only 16 chapters. We're almost done with that. Then we go to Luke. Then we go to the book of Acts. Saturday I preach at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. I also street preach that same day. And then Sunday at noon Eastern, we have a huge Bible study on on. on John 17, 1 through 5. It's 32 minutes. A lot of people, they want Jesus in five minutes. A lot of people, they want, they want Christ like instant coffee. You have to seek on a daily basis. You have to seek the kingdom of God first. That's what I do every morning. I wake up, I pray, I seek the Bible, I, I, I study it. Then I make videos. I go out in the streets to preach. Not everyone's called to preach, but we all are called to witness. We are all called to edify one another and lift one another up. We are in perilous times. So take the signs that we show on this channel and relate it to the Bible. And look, we are in those biblical days, guys. Hit that like button. Much love. and May God bless you.